Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radicad. In this video, I'm going to talk about fuzzy matching, which is a, a transformation you can apply within Power Query in Power BI Desktop or in Power BI Dataflows or in Microsoft Fabric Dataflows. How does this work? How it helps to match the records based on similarity rather than based on the exact matching? Let's go and check it out. Uh, previously, in other videos, I explained that what is merge operation in Power Query, which is a process that you have two tables with probably different columns, but matching key columns. Uh, for example, you might have customer table and customer details table. Um, that part of the customer information is in one table, another part of the information is in another table, and then you use the customer ID or customer key to merge these two tables together. Uh, and this process using Power Query Merge is uh, quite effective to flatten your tables. Now that process works well when you have a numeric key uh, that matches really nicely, even like a GUID key, uh, GUID, things like that works well. When it is text fields, then it comes with some challenges. One of the challenges with the text fields is that uh, sometimes the quality of the data isn't that great. Uh, for example, you get some parts of the customer information from a website, another part of the customer information comes from an Excel file that some people do manual entry in it. And it is quite possible that in that manual entry, they do some um, errors in the typing. So sometimes Reza might have two Zs instead of one. Um, sometimes it might have missed the Z altogether, uh, things like that. And um, you want a process so that it can match these together based on similarity rather than the exact number. Of course, similarity uh, matching is going to be performing much slower than normal matching because it has to compare every single value from one table against every single value in the other table, every single record in the other table and come with a similarity number. And then based on the threshold that you set, it, uh, it either satisfy within that threshold or not. So it is going to perform much slower, but I'm going to show you how this works. So let's um, switch into my screen. I'll go to my screen. Here is a Power BI Desktop example that I have. In this Power BI Desktop, I'm going to get data from an Excel file. Um, which actually I have that data in this place. Um, sorry, it's not Excel file, it is a CSV file. So let's go and switch it to a text and CSV. Um, so it is in this folder that I have this. Now I'm going to first show you what the data looks like. And the same process can be also applied within Power Query Online, which is uh, Power BI data flows or Microsoft Fabric data flows, both uh, parts of it can be done. So I'm going to transform data just to show you what this data looks like. I have a department table and this is what the data of this um, of this data set is going to be. So as you can see, this is the department information. The first row is going to be my column header. So I'll go to transform and use first row as headers. If you haven't used that before, very useful option when you get data from Excel file or CSV file to bring it as the first uh, to bring the first row as the column header. So this is my department table. Now I have an input table, which I'll bring that one as well. Uh, the input table is like this. Now when I add it into here, uh, you'll see how it is different in especially the department column of it. So we have some records, let's say these are employees or customers or whatever they might be, and let's consider them as employees. In this scenario, these employees, they belong to a department. And sometimes you see the department spelling is quite different than what we have in our uh, records in the department table. So if I use normal matching within this scenario, it is very likely that they will, um, they will not be uh, matched. So I'm first going to show you what the normal merge looks like, and then I'll show you the fuzzy merge. So if I do the normal merge, let's say I want to find out their department um, and match it against that. If I want to do normal merge, I'll go to uh, home tab and I'll go under merge queries and I'll say uh, merge queries. 
uh, again, if you don't know much about merge and what that process is, I have a separate video about it. I even have a video about different types of merge as well. Um, so I'll choose uh, this uh, table against department. So source against department, and I'll choose the columns that they are matching. Uh, and even here, you can see that it is telling me that only three of the seven rows of the first table is matching. Uh, so when I say OK, the second table comes as a subtable in here. Uh, I'll go and expand it so that you can see what this looks like. And you should see that it only matches for the records that are exact match, which is uh, the first record, the third record, and the fifth record, right? So uh, this is normal matching. But what fuzzy matching does, in the fuzzy matching process, I'm going to stop, uh, I'm going to remove that merge and do it again. Uh, in the fuzzy matching process, I can do it like this. I'll go to merge queries, I'll choose the destination table, or I'll choose the second table again. So based on department column, all of that is exactly the same thing, only difference is here. This option is the option that we are going to select, right? You might have seen that before, but you didn't know what this is going to do. Now we are going to talk about it. So I can go and choose use fuzzy matching, right? As soon as I select that, you see that it says, it tells me that now six of the seven records are matching, right? So I'm going to show you what this looks like, but before looking at that, I'll expand the fuzzy matching options uh, so that you can see what is the fuzzy matching configuration here. So first we have a similarity threshold, very important value, this similarity threshold. What this tells us is that um, this is a number between zero to one. Zero meaning that um, they can be um, in whatever similarity uh, possible, right? So um, one on the other hand side means that they have to be exactly the same. So consider one as 100% similar, zero as 0% zero similar. Uh, but the fact is that even if you set it zero, the algorithm that is used behind the scene, which is uh, Jacquard index, just for your uh, reference if you want to know more about it, uh, the Jacquard index algorithm works a little bit different, so differently. So even if you set it zero, it will not bring all the records uh, matching with this current value, right? Uh, so it is important to uh, understand how that works. Ignore case, match by combining text parts. These are helpful options. For example, um, like if you have a space, it would match. It would combine them together rather than keeping them as keeping them as separate options. So what I'm going to do is just to set a number for now. Zero point nine two is what I'm setting. And as soon as I set that, you see that this shows me I have four matching rows. So let's go and have a look at those four matching rows. Uh, I'll click on OK, then I'll go and expand to department so that we see what are the matching. So apart from those three records that were matching before, this is a new record that is matching this time. And you see that um, even this similarity is detectable with this algorithm behind the scene, which is Jacquard index. Now we can play with that similarity. I can go to that merge query setting again, just in case you want to ever go back to that. You can always go and find that step and click on the setting icon of that. I'll go and do that. And then once I'm here, I'll go and change that to be 93, for example. And then clicking on the last option, so that we see the final result of it. And you see 93% similarity is similar to 100% similarity in my case. So that record is not matching anymore, right? Um, because I increased the similarity. But what if I decrease it? What if I, instead of 93 or 92%, what if I go to 91%? When I go to 91%, now you see that we have six records matching. So not only number two, but also this record and this record, right? Um, and you see it's a good, good detection of that. But this record, number four, even if I go to similarity of 80%, I wouldn't get it. And that is because how the Jacquard index algorithm works. Um, so it is quite a simple process to use, but there are things that you need to consider when you are using this process. One of those things is that 
this is performing really slow with large amount of data. So first make sure that you match it based on exact matching, like do normal merge first uh, within that column. And whenever you are doing that merge, make sure that uh, for the text values in Power Query, you have to uh, make them all lowercase or uppercase so that they match together. Power Query is case sensitive. Uh, remove unnecessary spaces before an end, uh, like uh, start and end, something like a trim operation. All of the things that you do in duplicate um, process to work well. And I have a separate video about that. Uh, after you have done normal merge, then the remainder of the records, you'll go and set it as the fuzzy, uh, fuzzy matching. Now there is also another thing which I'll switch back into my screen again and show you in that fuzzy matching process. And uh, that configuration is this actually. Within that fuzzy matching, one of the configuration is, is this. Maximum number of matches. Now this is quite important when you are uh, when you are dealing with um, when you are working with lower threshold. For example, let's say I set the threshold to fifty percent, right? And with that fifty percent, I might get a lot of similar values. Like for this current value for this current record in the destination table or in the second table, I might find multiple records that are above. That 50%. So what is happening in that case? Do we, um, in that case, our second table would have list of all of those records, um, and you can limit that so that it doesn't affect the performance. This is that maximum number of matches. So if it finds, let's say, five matches, that's enough. We don't want to go uh, more than that. This is good for that kind of scenarios. The transformation table is when you have a mapping table that would map these. Um, values to their exact values and um, more like doing two merges. you do this merge with uh, with this table you know, exact matching and then in that mapping table you say that uh, sale without s at the end is matching with the sale with the s at the end uh, and then this second table matches with the third table so that is just normal matching um, uh, but using a mapping table so normally we don't use that a lot uh, but the rest are configurations that we can use switching back into my uh, camera again so uh, that is fuzzy matching very helpful very useful in addition to fuzzy matching within the merge we also have fuzzy clustering and fuzzy grouping but those two options are only available within uh, Power BI website or Power Query online editor, which is in Dataflows, Microsoft Power BI Dataflows, or Fabric Dataflows. I hope this video helped you to understand how the fuzzy process works within Power Query. Uh, go and use it, please, and uh, write your comments down below. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI and Microsoft Fabric. Until the next video, bye.